video we are going to be looking at percentage yields but this time we're going to be working out the actual mass of reactant that we need when given a percentage yield of the product and the mass of the product that we're wanting to create. So in this question, we have got ethanol, which is our reactant, and we've got ethanoic acid, which is our product. And the question asks us to calculate the mass of ethanol, so that's our reactant, used to produce 12 grams of ethanoic acid if the reaction had a percentage yield of 57%. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to work out the theoretical yield. So to be able to do that, we take out our entities. In this case, it's ethanol and ethanoic acids. We do our mole ratio, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And we need to times it through by the GFM because we're working with mass. So the GFM of ethanol, uh, two times 12 plus four, plus 16 gives me 44 grams, would produce 12 plus 3 plus 12 plus 32 plus 1, 60 grams. But in this question, it wants us to produce 12 grams of our product. So this is going to be our scalar and we would do our cross multiplication. So we do 44 times by 12 and then divide by 60. So what we're saying is theoretically to produce that, we would usually need 8.8 .8 grams. So for the next stage, what we do is we take our theoretical, which is this here. This is our theoretical value, 8.8 .8 grams. And we make it equal to the percentage yield that we've been given in the question, which is 57%. Now, I know that if I only, this only produces 50% of product, I'm not going to get the 12 grams. So what we always have to do is we have to scale for 100% and then we would cross multiply. So we'd have 8.8 .8 times by 100 and the answer divided by 57. And that gives us a mass of 15.44, if I'm rounding, uh, grams of my reactant that I would need to put in to obtain 12 grams of product at 57% yield. So if you want to pause the video and have a go, um, if you press resume, I'll go through the answer with you. But this past paper question is from the Advanced Higher 2016, written 9A. And the question asks us to calculate the mass of ethylparaben uh, required to produce, and they're given as a mass of the 4-hydroxybenzoic acid with the percentage yield of 77.5%. So the first thing we have to do is take down our mole ratio from the picture that we've got. Uh, our balanced chemical equation is a one-to-one -one ratio. We times through by the GFM as um, we're working in mass. We can see that they've given me the mass of ethylparaben as 166 grams, and that would produce the 4-hydroxybenzoic acid at 138 grams. What they have given me is they say that I want to produce 2.48 grams of my product, so I would cross-multiply this. So in my calculator, 166 times by 2.48, answer divided by 138 and that would give me a mass of 2.983 that I would need to have theoretically to produce that quantity of product. So we take the 2.983 and we make it equal to the percentage given in the text. So the percentage yield is 77.5%. We scale for 100. So our math would be our 2.983 times by 100, answer divided by 77.5, and that would mean that the mass that I would actually have to put into my reaction would be 3.849. So let's round that, if I'm using to two decimal places, to 3.85 grams. This past paper question is from the Advanced Higher 2007, written 12A part four. Assuming the percentage yield is 70%, what is the minimum mass of ethyl benzoate, which is our reactant, required to produce at least 4 grams of benzoic acid? So we take down our entities, we do our mole ratio, and we times through with the GFM. The issue is that the GFM is not given, but they have given us molecular structures. I have drawn this out as the full structural. 
Remember that in a benzene ring, each carbon atom has one hydrogen unless it's been substituted by another element. So if I was to work out the number of carbons and ethyl benzoate, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'd have C9. Hydrogens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. H10. And O's, I'd have 1, 2, O2. And that allows me to calculate the GFM of ethyl benzoate. So I would have 9 times 12 plus 10 plus 32. And that would give me a GFM of 150 grams. I do the same for benzoic acid. I've drawn the full structural formula. Carbons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, C7. H's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, H6, and O's, O2. So to work out that, I would do 7 times 12, plus 6, plus 32, and that would give me 122 grams. And the question, they ask me for the mass of product to be 4 grams. And then I would cross multiply. I'd have 150 times by 4, answer divided by 122. And that's telling me that I should theoretically have a mass of 4.918 grams. And that is my theoretical value. Remember, we take that theoretical value, 4.918. And we make it equal to the percentage it's given in the text, which is 70%. We scale for 100. So I'd keep that in my calculator. Times by 100. Answer divided by 70. And that would tell me that the actual mass of reactant that I would have to put in would be 7.025. And if we use that as my rounder, 7.03 grams of ethyl benzoate. This past paper questions from the revised Advanced Higher 2014, written 7b part 2. The percentage yield for this reaction is 67%. Calculate the minimum mass of 2-hydroxybenzoic acid required to produce 5 grams of aspirin. So we take down our entities. We've got our reactant that they're wanting us to scale for and our product, which is aspirin. We then do our mole ratio from the equation. It is a 1 to 1 ratio. We times through by the GFM because we're working in mass. Now, what's good is they've given us the two hydroxybenzoic acids molecular formula. So it's 7 times 12 plus 6 for our hydrogens plus 32 plus 16 for our oxygens, which means that that has a GFM of 138 grams. That would produce aspirin. Unfortunately, they have not given us the molecular formula, but they have given us the skeletal structure, which I am going to finish drawing out as a full structural. Remember, when you've got a benzene ring, every time you've substituted one of the hydrogens, eh, that hydrogen disappears, and all the other carbons within the ring have just one hydrogen atom due to the delocalization within the benzene ring. So let's write out the molecular formula for this. How many carbons do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. C9. How many hydrogens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. H8. And how many O's? 1, 2, 3, 4. O4. 4. So then I work out the molecular formula for this. 9 carbons times 12 plus 8, plus 32 for two oxygens, plus 32 for another two oxygens, which is a total of four, which gives us 180 for the GFM of aspirin. What mass have they given us in the question? We want to produce five grams, and we're going to use that to scale for our theoretical. 138 times by five, answer divided by 180, and that would give me a theoretical mass of 3.83, oh, three, let's write that out correctly, 3.833 grams. And that there is my theoretical value if I wanted to produce 5 grams. However, that's only if you've got 100%. We know that that 3.833 
grams, the percentage yield for that reaction is 67%. We need to scale up because we know that we're going to lose a percentage of that due to that. And we do a cross multiplication, 3.833 times by 100, answer divided by 67. And that gives me the mass that I should put into my reaction as 5.72 grams.